good after YouTube I have a wonderful wonderful thing to show you today I've been waiting since January of this year to get this vehicle man this is exciting exciting news I am so stoked to get this vehicle in my driveway I've wanted one my whole entire life granted she's not a power horse but one day she will be the beast and she will be the meanest one of all and she's a great and wonderful powerhouse and uh, I've won this car ever since I heard it was for sale. And uh, I'm going to show you. You ready? Are you listening? You ready, ready? Here she is. Damn. Nah, nah, that's just my daily. <laughs> this is the car we're talking about. My 98 Ford Mustang, man. This has a 3.8 V6 in her. And she sounds good too, man. I mean, for V6, you know, yeah, but she's got a little bit of love she's got to give, you know. Uh, it's a very, very nice, clean car. Uh, this is my future project here in a few months. Uh, I got a few things I got to do to her, you know. Um, I got to fix the, a few things on it, and it's ready. I am going to take the wheels off this car. Please comment down below what we should do with these wheels. Should, should we sandblast them and powder coat them a really nice color? What color should we do them? And uh, I got a feeling we really need to do this brake calipers make them look good too. But I just washed it, just waxed it today because it really needed it. It hadn't been done in about three years according to the owner. He hadn't done much to it. And uh, I actually got this for a fair price. And... Uh, She's a very clean car. Very, very clean. Still got some detailing to do to it. But let's check out the inside, shall we? Uh, as you can see, I got some tools in here. I have been working on it just a little bit. The stereo has a problem. But we need a new stereo because someone tried to tear out the stereo somewhere along the way. So we got to yank the, the uh, Pioneer stereo out, put a new one in because the whole face is busted up. It's not really, it's salvageable, but it's not really salvageable. But I just don't want to deal with having to deal with junk. So that's getting replaced. As you can see, it has great, great interior, man. Not a tear in a seat, you know. I mean, the driver's side looks awesome. As you can see, it looks very, very, very nice. Sorry about the sunny day, but you know, it is a great, great car. Now, I will point out a few things that she does need done before I can actually drive it. Now, I do got to get underneath the hood, do a little bit of work, you know, because it has been sitting. The body lines don't match up, so we're going to have to have a friend of mine fix the body lines. Paint doesn't quite match in some spots. I have noticed that, you know, um, just by looking at it, you got like a pink hue here you can probably see in the video and then you got a more of a redder hue on this that has what I have noticed myself with this car all right and my son he did not do a very good job way to go Kalen but I'll come back and I'll hit it again we waxed it today so I'm catching stuff as I go as I do the video ah! anyway Back to what we're talking about here, we have the driver's side, needs swept out a little bit. Now this is the main problem I have with this car. I have a rocking chair for a seat. Somebody broke the seat, and as you can see, if you look down here, this is my problem, all right? The thing had snapped and broken too. That's what had to happen, okay? So that's one of the things I've got to fix before I could drive it on a daily basis. But not a bad car for what I paid for it. You know, it marketed at $2,500 in the area that I live. Not a bad deal for something. Uh, someone did put Plasti Dip right here and on the pony. I'm sorry, but my pony's got to shine and she's got to look good, man. So I might figure out how to get all that plastic dip off and someone plastic dip the bottom piece right here to make it look cool um yeah it just looks like crap now because it's fading out man i mean i mean look right here it is like it, it wasn't a very good 
plastic the job but I think it's been on there for about three years so it's time to come off you know plastic dip is not a permanent thing it's just something to make something look good but oh no she's not a bad Mustang you know can't complain it has a subwoofer and stuff in it to make it sound good and all that that's why I uh, have the stereo apart but this will come later I'm not in no hurry um, the Suzuki is in the back side of the garage right now I'm still waiting on some parts to get fixed um, I've got the front forks for the Suzuki motorcycle um, it is um, currently in the shop right now the rebuild in the for front forks they're putting uh, new seals new oil um, new uh, springs in it as well and then um, also I'm having the swing arm rebuilt as well and um, putting new bushings in it is what I'm doing and then I'm putting all new bearings and everything else to go with it so with it when I ride it it doesn't have a little bit of a roughness to it it rides a little bit smoother than what she does it is a 30 nine year old bike and it does need some work so why not replace things at 39 years old and has went through the powder coater and it has had heat and all that change it while you can but this will be a future project and my other project i started recently is now you see some videos about the s10 here soon but here's my s10 all right so remember like and subscribe my videos have a great and wonderful day god bless be safe out there, my friends. And remember, BZB's your guy. Later. Peace.